Hi everybody, Chris from Remind here. Let's take a few minutes to have a look at the signing sequence. Remind Docs offers you the ability to save time by sending documents to multiple recipients consecutively and automatically by establishing a signing sequence. When the first recipient finishes signing, the document will automatically be sent to the next one. Let's take a look at how this is done. I'll start by selecting the documents that I wish to send, then I'll select all of the participants who need to sign. The order in which the documents will be sent can be controlled by using these drop-downs associated with each recipient. In this case, Billy will get the documents first, then, when he's done signing, Brenda will get them. Quick note here, signing sequences can only include members of one side of the transaction. When the signing sequence is complete, I'll quickly review the documents for completeness and send them on to the cooperating agent. Okay, so clicking send will start the sequence by sending the document to Billy first. When Billy completes signing, three things will happen. Billy will get an email with a summary of his signing session, including a link to download a copy of what he's just signed. I, as the agent, will get an email notification informing me that Billy has completed signing, and Brenda will receive an email with a link to sign. This process will repeat until all participants who were added to the signing sequence have signed. Now, to disable the sequencing and send to both Billy and Brenda simultaneously, click here. Note that without a signing sequence controlling which recipient gets access and when, it's more of a possibility that Billy and Brenda might open and sign these documents at the exact same instant. And this might lead to confusion as far as who signed what. For this reason, we recommend either using the signing sequence feature or manually sending the documents out for signing one at a time. One last thing to note, Let's say I had a purchase agreement set to go to Billy first, then Brenda. I sent it to Billy, but it turns out that Billy can't check his email until end of day. Maybe I want to get Brenda's signatures in the meantime. All I need to do is manually send the documents to Brenda. This will effectively cancel the signing sequence. If you need any help, just click support in the bottom left corner.